Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Which I see today, and welcome to welcome back to the ultimate. 80s ranking. Before we begin, this is the Ultimate 80s ranking. I go from beginning to most recent in their official discography, song by song, give my thoughts, and then put it into a list of most favorite to least favorite, which looks like that. Strong Asterix. You see that song at the bottom of the list? First off, least favorite position. Second off, Time of Love. Let me tell you now, guys, Strong Asterix, that is not my least favorite 80s song, but Wave has grown on me. And when I first listened to Wave, sorry for pointing, when I first listened to Wave, uh, for some reason I put it into the least favorite position, it's grown on me, but I wouldn't say I prefer Time of Love to Wave, and that's the reason, reason it's in the position it's in. But that's not today. So, this is a fun thing. When I checked out ADs for the first time, I believe the first song I checked out was Wonderland. And then I saw that they got, had a song called Cyberpunk. And uh, if you want to see my reaction to that, you can find it on the channel. I enjoyed it, that's it. And uh, pretty much on that comment section, there was a few songs that people were like, if you like this, you will like this, you will like this, you will like this. And the song, I think there was two songs more than any others. Mist was one. Look where Mist is in my list. And the other one, which was really recommended, which if I didn't start this ranking, I would, be, I would have checked out ages ago, is Take Me Home. So to say I've been waiting to check this one out and uh, see why it had so many recommendations is an understatement. Take me home. It's your time. Oh my god. Come on, lads, give me a break. Oh, synth in heaven. Amazing chorus.
Ways away. Ways away. Oh my god, where do I even begin? Where do I even begin? Now, of course, guys, the fact that it was recommended on the Cyberpunk video I knew was going to involve synth still didn't prepare me. Still didn't prepare me. I love Inception. I love Mist. I love Precious. I love Horizon. I love, I love Dazzling Light. I love Wonder, etc. But come on. Let me explain to you why that's my number one so far, guys. Let me explain to you why that's my number one so far. I. You may have realized I love Synth. <laughs> I kind of have an addiction to it. Uh, it's a problem, but a great problem to have. So the fact that you had that, and you had all the amazing aspects of it, the synth bass, the synth melodies, the synth in the um, in the mid ground of the song, in the high ground of the song, the sounds of the synth in the song, you had all of the lads nailing it. You had amazing rap verses. You had amazing choruses. It felt like an incredibly complete and grand song. Put that in one section for why I love this. And then the next section is the fact that I grew up on 80s music. I don't mean, I'm not 80s the group, but 80s the, the decade. And um, that's the reason why synth is so strong for me. And one of my favorite artists in general, um, top three, sometimes top, is The Weeknd. Which I know may be surprising to people because The Weeknd has blown up. Um, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, Oh, I I loved The Weeknd before The Weeknd was huge. But I really did love The Weeknd before The Weeknd was huge. Um, I I listened to him, came across him somehow when he was doing his his, uh, his mixtapes and EPs and everything like that. And I was just like, wow. This guy is like Michael Jackson after midnight. Do you know what I mean? He's like a darker version of Michael Jackson's music. And he employed, he employed so much synth. And then I went to research, and people may not know this, The Weeknd, he was highly influenced by Prince, Michael Jackson, of course. If you listen to his voice, you can hear that. And, weirdly, Blade Runner. And I know you're thinking, Blade Runner's not a band. The music of Blade Runner. And just cyberpunk music in general. So you can see why. <laughs> When you put all that together, The Weeknd is one of my favourite artists. But I know we're talking about the eight, we're talking about eighties here. The reason I say all that is that this feels like a song done by The Weeknd. So when you have my ultimate boy group in K-pop doing a style of song for one of my favourite artists of all time, do I need to tell you any other reason why it's number one? And another reason, guys, um, I'm going to look at my phone at a second because I want to do something for you guys this time. You guys always recommend me songs. I want to, if you, if you love this song, let me tell you about a group that you should check out immediately. And the reason I'm searching it is I want to make sure I get the right song to you guys, all right? So this is, <laughs> not that I get like loads and loads of feeds and stuff like that, but this is some free advertising, let's say, for this unbelievable group. Right, okay. I want you guys to look up a group, um, a synth band called The Midnight. And I want you to check out, you could check out loads of different songs, but I want you to check out two songs, The Equalizer, Not Alone, right? And Shadows. Check Shadows out first, actually. And I'll tell you the reason why I specifically am telling you about this group, this band. 
they they're, they're a synthwave band first off so you know there's that obvious thing but they have they implore they um include a saxophone in their songs and as soon as that saxophone hit me in the face would take me home at the end there i was like oh my god this is like the midnight and that's a big compliment that's a big compliment but yeah shadows check that out first shadows by the midnight let me know what you think in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear if you guys, you know, because you guys are giving me so much great music to check out. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And I'd be, I'd be very surprised that if you love this song, you do not like The Midnight, or in particular, Shadows. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked. Um, so yeah, there's something different as a recommendation for you guys. But as you can see, for how much I've talked about this, yeah, it's number one. <laughs> and Inception, guys, is Inception. Mist is mist, but take me home is take me home, and I completely understand why everybody was uh, so excited for me to check this one out. Take me home is my number one so far. Damn. Safe to say I'm going to add that to a playlist. <laughs> Safe to say. Oh my god, that was just like all my loves coming into one. K-pop, you know, 80s, you know, um, The weekend, cyberpunk, music, synth wave, synth pop, The Midnight. Oh. Sorry about some of the faces I probably pulled during that reaction, guys, but damn. But damn. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hit that like button if you did. Give me a great idea if you want to see more 80s content on the channel. Again, let me know your list so far, and um, please, please, it would only take you a few minutes. Please check out what, what, I, what I said there. I, I, I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Because, again, if you love this, you will love that. I can guarantee it. And please subscribe because this is the Ultimate 80s Ranking. And uh, there's plenty more on the way, plenty on the channel already in the 80s Reactions Players, and also on Patreon, you can find lots of exclusive reactions to 80s, um, from Kingdom, other performances, personality videos that I've done, uh, which will never be on YouTube or on Patreon. And let me tell you now, this is another thing I need in the comment, let me know what performances to check out for that bad boy. I need to know, I need to know. And you can also make guaranteed reaction requests, guys, for specific performances, Music videos in general, other songs, anything really. Go check it out. And also, early access to any videos I finish editing there and then. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, I need to go away and listen to that song about ten times in a row. Take care. Much love.